Okay, welcome to my talk. I will talk about IHP open source PDK. Maybe at first I should explain what is what is IHP. The IHP is a research facility. We are hosted in, in Germany and our key competence is uh, high performance uh, microelectronics. That's even part of the, of the name. Um, yeah, we have a vertical research concept. That means we are starting from material research going up to the system um, development. Yeah, And um, just to get an impression, we have more than 350 employees and half of them are, are scientists. Then we have technical um, members and even many students. And on the picture you can see the, the, the building in front on, on the left side. That is our own clean room so we can produce the devices. What do we have? We have a 200 millimeters um, line, pilot line, and uh, it's working 24 hours, seven days a week, and uh, we are, have a qualified technology. So if you are using our technology, you can use it even in, in, in commercial products or using for study at universities or for education and so on. And the special thing is we have a silicon germanium by CMOS pilot line. So here are some, some details about our technical equipment, clean room areas, roughly 1,500 square meters. Then we have this RF uh, silicon germanium by CMOS technology. And uh, we have two different process nodes. One is 130 nanometers, and the second one is 250 nanometers. Yeah, and that's even the reason why we made this open source PDK. We are able to do this, so we did this. Something about history. So history sounds a little bit strange, so um, I use a specific font, yeah, because it's not so long. Yeah, we had an internal discussion. Should we release an open source PDK? And after we decided, yes, we do this, we have to even decide um, which technology we will use. So um, finally, we have chosen our SC13G2 by CMOS technology. And as you can see, um, the frequency is roughly high. Uh, for the HPTs, we have frequencies for FT, FMAX, uh, 350, 450 gigahertz. So if you like to design um, F designs, like for example, the, the, the wireless LAN uh, receiver or transceiver, then you can, can do this using the HPTs uh, instead of the CMOS technology. Yeah. So on FSIC in 2022, we announced that we will publish this open source PDK for our technology. And the first technical data were published in, in March 2023 uh, on, on GitHub. And during the time I checked yes, uh, yesterday, we had 203 commits. Current state, just check GitHub. Yeah, uh, the link is even present there. Um, something what I'd like to explain. If you miss something, if you like to get some enhancement, you miss some information and so on, please just just ask. We are more than the foundry, we are more than, I would say, a rather small group of, of PDK developers. Um, we are scientists, we are interested in education um, and so on. It's their enthusiastic uh, colleagues in my team. So please ask and we will see what we can do. Some technical details. So at first we published um, the process specification and the layout rule manual. Clear that's the basic of uh, the, the, such a PDK. Then we have support for XCAM, uh, so means device symbols, setting test benches, and uh, some standard cell symbols. Supports for CUXS, primitive G devices, currently as, as in GDS format for the HPTs, for the most for passive devices. This means currently for resistors and for um, capacitors. For stuff like inductors, um, it's ongoing. Um, even f I will come to this point later a little bit more. Um, then we have limited set of digital standard cells. It's, um, yeah, you can use it to design your, your digital circuits and some I.O. cells and selected SRAM memory blocks. One remark regarding the SRAM, um, we published some different devices and if you need some other, just ask, we can check whether we can generate this. Um, second 
page of technical details, we are supporting K-layout. So we offering layout property files, so you can um, load your GDS and you can see it in the, in the right color scheme. We have DRC, means a minimal rule set that's fully working and published yet. Then we have a full rule set, it's ongoing and almost done. And um, then we have some initial API for, for the Pi sets that I explain even a little bit more later. Um, then the stuff regarding inductors. We like to support open EMS. For that, tutorial and scripts and documentation is available. Nevertheless, there is even some, some room for improvement. And what you even can find on GitHub system um, for the HPT, the MOS, and even for passive devices, layout and measurement data are there. So you can verify the, the models against the, the layout and the measurement data. Um, what I have here is an overview how to design an analog device. I will not go into the details. You can see it's a K-layout uh, oriented design flow. Um, you can use parametrizable cells, uh, physical verification. Uh, we have support for the Cooks S and X game, as I said, and even for NG spice and, and size for the simulation. And on the right side, you see our vision how to design an analog ASIC with our PDK. Yeah. And last but not least, uh, Magic Flow as second option is, is right now planned. Yeah. Um, some details about the um, PyCell development. Um, on, on the right side, you can see MOS transistor. And if you open the properties of this MOS transistor, you can scale this. And usually, you can do this if you know the, the stuff like cadence, and so you press the button Q, and you will get the properties of the uh, of the of the P cell, and you can stretch it, you can uh, and so on. Um, for that, usually um, the Python Studio is used from Synopsis, and what we did, we uh, started to develop. Um, using the same names from the API from uh, the Synopsis uh, PySell Studio to enable PySells. That means finally you can use the same PySell code using, for example, an ADS, but you can even use it with our open source PDK. So you have, you have one uh, implementation and that's really, really fine because you have only the effort once. Digital stuff. That's I think more important for the, for the people who are sitting in this in this room. Uh, currently, we are supporting the open road flow uh, with the script that you know. So we have the cells, uh, the the views that you need. Even we have support for the metal fill, writing out the GDS and um, some examples. And um, for the open lane, we made the first steps to develop this. Um, Furthermore, we are more than the open source PDK. Um, it's a relatively large project. And what we even did on the GitHub, you can find the gun chart for, for, for our project. So you can check what's planned in, in the future and at which, which time. And what we even did in last June, we had an IHP a type of meeting, user meeting, uh, core, we founded a type of core expert group. So different universities will take part in. Um, so we get designs from with different uh, views, I would say, yeah? starting from pure digital to relatively slow analog uh, design like band gap and so on up to RF applications. Um, it is planned to submit the designs in our shuttle run and even to publish this as open source designs. And what we are even doing, we find out that, um, yeah, we have this hand and egg problem. Do you have the PDK? Do you have the tools and so on? And um, yeah, you need even to develop the tools further. So we are strong in contact with uh, tool developers like Matthias Köferlein for the K-Layout or Holger Vogt for, for the NG Spice. And last but not least, we are planning to have a type of uh, shared tape out, I would say. So it's a similar approach like the, the tiny tape out. And um, since I have sa said we have different uh, tech or we have by CMOS technology, we finally we will we'll offer two different uh, options. One is using our real technology, my, means by CMOS 
itself with HPTs and MOS transistors, or you can use the CMOS technology only. So this will even reduce the price for you. We have flexibility in, in chip dimensions, and we are thinking out to, uh, to have two or three different standard chip dimensions to be shipped. Then we have two options in mind. First is a digital mixed single design, so um, the stuff on the upper right corner might be at uh, first draft how it should look like, and the um, design on the, on the right side below uh, might be the option for LF designs, analog LF designs, so you have some specific analog pads and so you can use it for as a common ground and um, signal pens. And um, what we are even planning is to uh, offer these uh, devices finally in a package and we think that QFN64 might be a good option for, for that um, offer from us. Roadmap. It's clear, you can check the current state on, on GitHub. It's not fully complete, so we will enhance the model libraries. We will complete the DSC and LVS rule set, and furthermore, uh, continues updating the open, road, open lane flow, even some adding some additional digital cells and the I.O. cells. And um, I can say we have some planned tape outs. Uh, so in, in this year, one full CMOS run set, and some additional run with uh, SG13G2 technology, so with the RF capabilities, and uh, more runs in, in 22, um, 20, sorry, 25. Um, just check our website or ask on, yeah, on, on, on GitHub for, for further details. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Frank. Uh, questions? Can I ask at the first one, can you talk a little bit more about the, the motivation to open source something? The motivation? Yeah. Okay, clear, I can do. Um, we are in a strong collaboration with different universities, so our department heads are even uh, professors at different universities in Brandenburg, and we have to push the education. And even from my side, I, I know this even from, as I was a student and a teacher, that we have to sign NDAs. That's very, very stupid, and now we are in a very comfortable situation. Okay, we can t say, just take the PDK from GitHub, and you, you can use it. And if you like to start learning maybe on Sunday afternoon, you can just download the PDK and you can start uh, teaching yourself, yeah? That's one of the reasons, okay. Okay, st stupid question from the electrical engineer that hasn't done circuit design. What, if you can do 250 gigahertz analog, what's the clock rate that you could build an inverter or a flip-flop? Uh, for for um, how fast can you run clock digital logic in this process? Ah, okay. okay. Um, I know that um, some of my colleagues made digital designs up to 150 megahertz because it's standard CMOS technology with 130 nanometer technology, so it's not rather high. What you can do, you can use the uh, HPT transistors to generate, for example, your own ECL library and to speed up very, very fast, but in that case you need a lot of power and uh, you have the heat problem, yeah. Questions for Frank? Yeah. Uh, how would you differentiate this from the Sky 130 process? There's a clear difference. Uh, Skywater has only CMOS, we have by CMOS uh, process, yeah. I noticed you mentioned you have a SRAM mm -hmm. release. Um, the bit cell in that, is it, would you let people just kind of copy that and do their own RAM, or, or is it a bit more complicated than that? As this is a standard uh, SRAM memory. It is not generated with an uh, open RAM generator. We have uh, our own generator yeah. on this. We are not allowed to publish the generator itself on yeah. open source, yeah. but the final um, Design means uh, GDS and um, even the netlist we can clearly publish. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Okay. Maybe one remark additional to the Google Skywater. Um, 
we are even in a comfortable situation to publish much more data. So it means we have the measurement data, we can even publish the, um, the measurement structures as GDS, and uh, as I heard from, from some colleagues at, in Google Skywater, some technical stuff is really missing. Oh, yeah, did you mentioned inductor as you went through. Okay. Yeah. Yes. S not supported or? Um, we supporting this open EMS, and so in that case you can um, draw your own layout, export this as GDS, you can import this in open EMS and you can uh, simulate this. Finally you will get this as parameter file and you can include this into your simulation. It's relatively hard at the moment, but uh, because the simulation takes a long time because of the meshing, but we are in uh, collaboration with um, with the tool developer to, uh, to fix this issue. All right, so theoretically possible to close the loop on that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Any more questions? All right. Thanks, Frank. Nice work. Thank you. The more open source PDKs, the better.